If you have a Travel 1003 or a 503 and you've lost thrust in the motor, most likely it's due to a broken share pin. What you want to do is remove your tiller, your battery, and then tilt the motor up till it's supported, like so, and or lay flat on your workbench. What we're going to do now is grab a 17 millimeter socket on a wrench and in quick, short, counterclockwise motion, we're going to walk the nylon locking nut off. Okay, go ahead and pull off your prop. For this example, I have went ahead and removed the shear pin. So you can see I was still able to remove the nylon locking nut with nothing engaged into the propeller itself. Now I'm going to take a moment and talk about the backside of the propeller. If any of the area on the propeller itself is damaged, I highly recommend that you do replace it. Um, or the shear pin will break prematurely and you'll have to replace it again. So let's go ahead and install our new shear pin. Get that in there. Just put it center. Go ahead and set our prop on. Give it a little twist till it's seated. Washer. And nylon locking nut. Now, you want to hold on the propeller. Be careful because the blade is sharp. Uh, you can wear a glove and just tighten down the nylon locking nut until it's secure. I'm not using a lot of torque. There we go. It's fully seated. And now the propeller and motor are ready to be used again. Mm -hmm.